All right, what's up guys? Welcome to my vlog. Um, today we're gonna be reviewing um, some fish that I'm going to fry up, fry up today in the kitchen. Um, well, I'm gonna show you guys how to season it, how to, how to prepare it, and how to cook it properly so you get the best flavor out of your fish. So yeah, let me start. First thing we're gonna need is a pan. We're gonna need our fish. We got our fish right here. The third thing, and pro I'd probably say the most important thing, is our seasoning. This is a mixed seasoning. You could probably season the meat and fish with this, maybe poultry too. But this is probably the best seasoning I would recommend for cooking a fish. So let's get started. We're gonna turn our stove to medium heat. Step is to put a little bit of oil into our pan, not too much. It really doesn't need too much oil as the pan warms up. Now we're gonna season our fish. We have our fish on our cutting board. Now we can season our fish. We wanna, you wanna season it evenly over both sides. After you season the front side, you're gonna wanna flip it. You wanna season this side, coat, coat it evenly like the other side. And if you want, you could just start rubbing it a little bit and then you flip and get all the rub on there. It's pretty, pretty good. Now we're gonna season our second fish. Again, an even coat. And then we can just do the same process again. You can rub it and now you can do the same side. If you want, you don't. You really don't have to do this part. You could just take the fish and just start rubbing around the cutting board. So it rubs up all that seasoning. And now we go. Now we have our two seasoned fish. Now we're just waiting for this to warm up. So as we're waiting for our pan to heat up, we could just start cleaning up our cutting board and putting away our seasoning and oil. Uh, because all we have to do is just place them down in the pan. And when we place them down in the pan, we're gonna place them down a certain way. Let me show you. The pan's hot enough. We're gonna check it. So we know it's hot enough right now. Then we're gonna place our fish a certain way. We're gonna place them backside down so they get they cook evenly. And we're just gonna let them stay there. We're really not gonna move them for at least a minute or two. So as they're cooking, you really don't wanna move them. You just wanna leave them there so that they cook evenly. Now for this next step, I would recommend using a spatula over tongs because usually the fish will be too soft and too too delicate and it'll probably end up ripping apart in the pan. So let me show you. So now we can flip them after about a minute or two. And as we flip them, as we flip them, the golden brown, as you can see, let this one sleep a little bit. See, this is, I'd recommend using a spatula over tongs, especially in this situation because the fish is super light and delicate. Now we got that golden brown crisp on that side. Now we're really just gonna turn it down on low. Let it cook slowly but surely on its back side. It'll be like a minute or two that it'll cook. And we'll just check up on it when it's done. So now that our fish is almost done, we're gonna grab a plate to begin the plating process. We're gonna put the plate down. I'm gonna grab our spatula, grab our fish and ready be ready to plate it. And we put it on here. There we go. Golden crispy brown. Looks pretty good. Now we're just gonna plate it. So, so now that we have our chicken on our plate, we're gonna begin the side. So one thing that my family loves to put or mix with their chicken, or not, sorry, not chicken, their fish, is they will like to put mayonnaise on the side, about a scoop or two. Usually they'll go about two. They love smashing up the fish and mixing it with the mayonnaise. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab some shredded, Grab some shredded cheese from our Colby Jack bag. And we're just gonna mix it in a little bit with the mayo. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And let's see, we're just gonna fix the plate around a little. 
And then now that we have our mayo and our cheese together, we can begin the mixing process right here. Make a little cheese mayo dip. Something weird that my family does, but they like it, and I've kind of grown accustomed to it. So now that we have that ready, we'll probably you know, get ready to play. Uh, another thing that my family also likes to do with our fish is we like to just smash it up and mix it in with our mayo and cheese. I would only smash up one one fillet of the fish. I'll tell you how I mix it. So as you can see, I'm starting to mix the mayo and the fillet right now. All right, so now is the time to review our fish. So if you look at it now, I smashed up one of the fillets with the mayo and cheese cream, and I left one fillet whole. So now I think we're just gonna review it. So I'm gonna try the mix. Mm. The mix is not really something that I do, something more my family does. But what the thing I do is I'll cut up some of my filet and I'll definitely mix it in there. So I'll mix it in there and I'll taste it out. And that's usually the way that I make my, my, my filet and, uh, it comes out pretty good, especially with this mix. And uh, it's just something I've done for a couple of years, Ariel. So yeah, there's my blog. So thank you guys for listening.